Yeah, well, you need to get NNF NFTs, man. Oh, need... I, do, I, I already have a crypto game. Oh, you do? Okay, oh, yeah. good. Start that's my whole game. space. You know? Oh, really? I'm, that's all I do. Is that's I, all you can I speak. Uh, I'm, a I'm NFT uh, Web3. That's right. I speak at all the conferences yeah. and stuff. That's my whole world. We're launching a platform right now, and um, I got a whole two big drops coming. Okay. Uh, one that's really cool. I'm okay. really excited about. Okay, we've had five drops for oh. baddays.com. It's uh, I bought a. Uh, are we rolling? We can roll this. Yeah, we're rolling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're rolling. Well, first of all, Scott, good seeing you again. Good to see you, man. It's it's like old home week around here. I, know, I run into you everywhere. I know, and I love. I always love talking business with you. Yeah. Because you're so. I love business. Business is, is in my blood. It's in your blood. Yes, sir. And uh, you still haven't left the NFT space, then, right? Oh no, no. This I'm, we're building like crazy right now. I mean, it's the biggest thing to come along from my point of view. It's freedom. They represent freedom for the people because it's a, a chance to build a total direct-to-consumer model. People take back the power of the currency. It's a big deal. I mean, most people don't realize what NFTs are, right? And that's where they fall down. They don't understand the depth and the power of it. I mean, they don't realize that it's a, it's really a contract built with rights, roles, and permissions to whatever you connect it to. And you got this little robot network called the blockchain that'll handle all the transactions and you can build business models on top of them That's like right. crazy. Through so, Ethereum, through Bitcoin, through, yeah, you, through Xterra, through yeah. all these different platforms. Yeah, it's all the gamification you can do them because NFTs are really about storytelling. And, uh, you know, their audience, audience uh, I would say, uh, loyalty programs. So that's, I think, is the real next phase with NFTs is basically gated communities, loyalty programs built around NFT space. Let me ask you a question about NFTs. Yeah. I've released five different projects, by the way. Okay. A company called Bad Days. Okay, we good. Bought, we bought Stan Lee's uh, um, IP for all these different superheroes that you know their names. Ooh. Yeah, that's why we've done so well. Right. But what about the numeration? When we release them, it starts at one to 10,000, one to 5,000, one being the most valuable. Mm -hmm. So as a collector, if I don't get one, the, one of the single digits, why would I want an NFT if it's not a number one through 10? Uh, because of the the rarity and the uniqueness and the attributes to the NFT. Maybe number one doesn't have specific superpowers, right? Because you can build that into the layers. So if you think of NFTs as really like the layers become access control. So I may only have five of them, like I'm launching one right now, which is interesting, so I'm gonna tell the people about the one. I'm very uh, lucky here to have been the, here I'll show it so I can kind of, it'll make sense, to the, um, um, for the cover of, uh, NFT Today magazine. Let me see here. Hold on a second. Where is this? Because uh, this is a. Sorry, what, what, you'll add. What, what, so we can keep talking. What blockchain okay. are you releasing your NFTs on? Well, look at that cover. Right. Wow. So, so this is the cover of NFT Today magazine coming out in March. Now, what's interesting? Oh, it's cool to be on the cover. I'm oh, very no, excited. No, no, you're on the cover. Yeah, I'm the cover. But what's interesting is this, this, uh, this art, along with 54 NFTs, are going to the moon on the 24th of March in a special time capsule that's going to be dropped off on the moon that's going to be there. They say that this storage medium will last for a billion years. And what they're doing is there's 224 artists in, from film to television to art to NFTs that will be dropped in this time capsule and they're building a, um, a metaverse so that everybody can go see this museum of stuff that's actually on the moon. So it's interesting because if you see the article it says from Pink Floyd to Web3 to the moon. So I'm actually, this is the 50th year anniversary of Dark Side of the Moon, and I'm actually getting on the moon. Wow. Ah, the 50th anniversary. So I'm very excited about that. But what's interesting about this NFT is we created it so that we can build uh, up to 8 billion unique copies. I mean, unique. Everyone is unique, right? And so we have a whole strategy of how we're basically going to onboard a whole bunch of people. We're, I'm dropping this with a platform that we're building right now that's kind of solving a bunch of problems in the NFT space. I've been in the NFT space almost three years now, done uh, almost three years, two, two, two and three quarters sort of. Uh, uh, but there's a lot of issues, right? It's like, how do I onboard brands? Because it's complex, right? It's not like somebody can just drop in. If you're a brand, you got to learn a lot. There's a lot of education. And then how do we onboard regular people that aren't in the crypto space. So how do we bring Web2 people into this space? And then the third part is once they're in, it's all about the audience management layer. So we built an application, basically a wallet, an experience wallet called Lootfinity. And um, it is your experience passport wallet that you collect everything in. But it also, if you get the NFT and you're in that gated community, me is the one that starts and has direct connect already. No more Discord, no more all of that stuff. Right. All the social built into but the But don't wall. you have to have some Discord to have a big following to, nope. to in order to, okay, what blockchain are you on? 
Um, we can we we have right now we're on we're both Polygon and Ethereum. We're adding other chains to well, it. But well, Ethereum is a blockchain. Polygon's how you soften the fees. Well, that's it for the ones that we're giving away. So part of our model is is everything that we do. There's a physical that goes along with it. Oh, I didn't bring my physical. Well, just so you know, so we uh, use Polygon also. Yeah. So like when people buy our NFTs with no Ethereum, gas. then Polygon. <clears throat> softens the fees. Yeah, it's all gas fees for right, sure. Right, right. And so those are some of the issues. Um, so really, I mean, what chain we go to is depending on what is the project. Got like, it. what is it? If it's, you know, one of a kinds and there's only one and it's a physical and a digital and it's a painting of some sort, then you may want to just put that, might be a rareable or a nifty gateway or someplace like that. If you're launching baseball cards, you might look at wax or some of the other ones. So it really depends on what you're what you're trying to do. For us, it's it's access to communities and then being able to reward people with uh, loyalty core programs that are actually built into the specific. Did, uh, did you add layers to yours, like a, like a legendary, common, uncommon, course, yeah. ultra, all those different yeah, layers? Yeah, so we have the, our tech is all AI driven and stuff, so you can just create Create the layers of your art, you drop the thing in there, you say how many you want of each of the types and it'll just create them for you. It automatically mints them for you and then and then it just creates a, a unique QR code that goes along that everyone in a printed file so we can print them out. So we print out beautiful cards which each one is a unique NFT on its own. And so this is a way to bring people into the system and then once they're in the community then it's all the, the perks and everything else that starts happening. In my particular NFT business, mm -hmm. it um, it really went. Tim Crypto went down. It went down. So, is it hard right now to try to get in new people because they got to get they got to get a wallet. They got to buy crypto. Well, that's what I'm, that's why with that, art. That's the hardest. Part. That's the part. That's why what we the problem we solve. You don't have to do that. All you do is you. You, you, you guard, it says uh, claim NFT, you hit claim, you put your email in, it builds a fully decentralized wallet all in the blockchain. And what's beautiful about our whole thing is it's bot proof. So we have a whole strategy on that. We also, it's all geofence, so if I walked into this space today I, and I said I walked into here, I could actually get a drop from that particular location so I can control the pieces that go into it. But um, yeah, I mean, that's the hardest part is going out and getting a wallet and trying to manage your NFTs. And we're basically trying to get rid of all of that. So how can Fab TV and your company together help you build your brand and get the word out better? Because we we're, we're crypto, our audience, we're big. we went to uh, Dubai for the big Comic-Con NFT conference and then also... I just got back from there. That's oh, okay, okay, from yeah. Jitech. Was it during Jitech? No, it was, uh, it was Comic-Con because ours okay. is all game-based. Right, game-based right. crypto game, uh, play-to-earn game. Right, so, right, got it. So how can we uh, merge together and help you do well, better dude, with our company? We're the perfect match for your company because you know the whole no, game. No, we're the perfect match. No, we are. But I mean, <laughs> we're... We, we're it's good match right yeah. because it's all about community now right my model is it's all about a hive right. so I say if you want to survive you got to build a hive that's the new game and remember it's the super fan networks so our model is really these are like super fan social networks built around NFTs it's not like Twitter where you might add NFTs this is all native inside and what's important is you own all your own data even the social media is all decentralized completely, so you own everything. So if you decide to leave, you take all your data, you take all your people, and then you control it all. Let me ask you a question. In our game, we have different levels, like you said, of power, strength, intelligence, yep, yep. all that, depending on the NFT. But you can, we have a marketplace where we can sell them. Can you sell yours off? Like you say, I bought one, and I kind of, it kind of went yeah. up in value. What I sell, can you do that on your game yes, too? Yes, so what, we, what we're doing is, right now, we're, you can go take it, just output and go right to uh, like secondary market, like, uh, open sea or something if you want to sell it there we're adding we will be adding marketplace into this because again we're the digital business there's a physical always with our digital kind of a combination got it um, yeah so because our whole thing is we're doing a project uh, with a really big time skateboarder which I can't name it right now Tony Hawk I'm not saying no it's not Tony Hawk, but I won't say who it is. But anyhow, Johnny Mountain. I'm not saying so. Christian Hussoy. I'm not saying so. That, I mean, those are the top three. Yeah. So what we're doing <laughs> is we're actually creating unique um, series of, of skateboards because we can now put the artwork will go on each of the individual skates. So that every physical. We're also doing it with guitars right now for a group. Um, what guitars? What guitar company? Uh, it's well, okay. It's a company called. Uh, Sawtooth. I don't know if you know them. They're one of the big distributors in the in the business. Great okay. instruments. Um, it's along with the Retune All Stars, which I'm part of, uh, which is a group of. Um, well, basically, it's a company called Retune. It's part of uh, LifePack Organics. Did Retune have a party not that long ago? It could have. I'm new. Okay. I'm actually relatively new. Okay. I've been using their products, and I yeah. love it, man. It helps me because I got arthritis and my joints. I'm finally playing guitar again. Thank God for this stuff. So I said, yeah. yeah. Um, and some people I know have circulation problems, like they their hands get cold and stuff. Yeah. You know, so 
It ain't easy having this much fun. <laughs> like you, huh? The Raynaud syndrome. The Raynaud. All right, well, I want to continue our conversation. Yeah, yeah. You're always, yep. uh, you know, you're an inspiration to me because of uh, everything that you've done and every you're, you're the multi-business guy you're the multi-talented guy love business, and now you're business. in this next level that you're on the cover of a, you have another magazine that you shouldn't be on yeah I know kinda. it's fun I'm so kinda. excited about you know, this kinda, like, you're, so you're like another you're a, yeah. another Bezos and another like yeah. Elon Musk well I, you know space. yeah I don't know about that but I'm like I like the space a lot because again I, for me it's this is the most important thing to come come along for the people because you know look at it We've been hoodwinked with, the, with no offense, Western central banks, but you guys are evil. <laughs> yeah. What you've been doing to the people, the basic, and this is an opportunity for us to take back the power of the currency and uh, take back control. But it's going to be a fight because, you know, we're, we're getting pushed onto this CBDC coin, the central digital bank. We'll see if that happens. I think the people are going to win this one once they realize the last thing we want is a robot controlling our... Our, 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 money. our bank account. Our money, yeah. Yeah, right. So. And, and last question. So, you know, Bill Murray came out with some NFTs, right? But mm. someone, some bot or something got in there and ripped off about a quarter million dollars worth. Did you hear about that? I had not heard that, but oh. okay. So, so yeah. it, even though it's kind of safe with our, you know, the blockchain and all, decentralization, yeah. he still said someone still got in there and got oh, a no. piece out. Yeah, you're, this is... This is still the wild, wild west. Yeah. There's a lot of issues technically, technology wise. We got ripped and, off too, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a that's a part of the game. And look at all the scams. I mean, like 80% of the scams. People saw the get rich thing. You know, grab a piece of IP, say it's an NFT, turn it an NFT, sell it, right. blockchain, wallet only. Goodbye, see yeah, you yeah. later. Hey, that wasn't yours, right? So there's a lot of issues that are uh, having to be dealt with. How, how, how about on the value? Sorry to interrupt you. In the value, like when our coin first came out, it came out at 29 cents, right? right. And we were doing really, really good. A bunch of people bought it and then, it, 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 and then they bought it and dumped it and devalued our company by 30%. Do you have worry about that kind of stuff happening to you? I'm not looking at it from that point. We're looking at it as loyalty programs, it. less about trading tokens as a, as a currency, but building it that you know it. that way, okay. right? All right. What city do you live in? I live in uh, Glendale. Glendale. Wow. Okay. Well, I live in Toluca Lake, so let's meet up soon. Dude, Toluca oh, my, Lake. You know what? Warner Brothers is my office. Please come by. Oh, let's yeah. talk more business. We'd and love see how we to can do that. Energize this energy because we talk the same language. That's we? right. Because we love Fab TV, right? That's right. <laughs> You're the best, bro. All right, good. Thank nice you. talking to you. Thank you. And here how, we are at Sue Wong's party. How do I get a hold of you? Uh, I'll give you my number. Oh, geez, he's gonna be his number. You ready? I won't say it out loud. Oh, that's okay. I don't care. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I don't want to say it out I'll loud. Make one. Go ahead. I don't want to. I don't really want it on 